Hello everyone. Let's go back to freshman year of high school where a very important question gets introduced, which is what would you like to major in? And this question will be stuck with us throughout the next four years and throughout our life. And that I did not like that question personally because I did not know the answer to it. And obviously throughout my life I've considered many professions, but none of them really stuck with me either because of me losing interest in them or realizing that I don't necessarily have the qualifications to succeed in them. And art is something that has been very important through my entire throughout my entire life. And I have loved making stuff, DIYing, painting. I have tried countless art forms and which is why I decided to major in art go to an art school but after some more serious uh, consideration I decided not to because I will not be able to make sufficient living with it after which I decided to turn to my family and my mom was an architect and my dad majored in civil engineering after talking to my mom a little bit more about architecture I decided to take uh, multiple courses in it throughout high school and Architecture is a creative field. It gives you the opportunity to leave your mark on the planet as well as being able to financially support yourself. And as I have said previously, creativity is something that was very important to me. And the designing process of a building is extremely complex and a lot of things go into it. And, more, and one of the most important things is inspiration. And then is important from the very beginning throughout the entire process and this is where creativity comes into play according to creativity and architecture the cognitive process for something in order for something to be creative it does not have to be unique you can take inspiration from absolutely anything and turn it into your own thing it can come from a pot to a lighthouse as it is pictured to a um, previously built building and made your own and having your own take on something will still have the will still be creative in its own way and something that has really motivated me into going into this field is first being able to uh, be inspired by something put it on paper then be made into a 3D model and then come to life is the process that has really motivated me in order to pursue this field. And buildings is also a way to take a closer look at the way of think how things were back in the day. And according to oldest.org, the oldest house, still mostly intact, is a map of how we're dated back to 3600 BC which is in Scotland and it is so unique that we are able to basically travel back in time and look more closely at how things were back then and that will be able to done to our buildings now as well and obviously in that sense we're leaving a very unique mark on the earth which is not done by many other professions but another problem that has been recently brought up to the architecture field specifically well, and as well as many others is eco-friendly architecture which is the ability to use eco-friendly materials as well and eco-friendly architecture can go in many different forms from um, putting gardens on skyscraper roofs to using solar panels and many, many many more and i personally um am a eco activist because i find it very important to be able to preserve our world as well as make it a more beautiful place which is something that i'm able to do while being an architect but unfortunately, with many of these creative jobs, you do not get paid well, and you do not necessarily have a stable source of income.
but due to architecture not only being a creative job but also a technical field where you have to learn the ins and outs of building a building while you're not necessarily doing it yourself you have to consider it, consider it while making the design and many years go into studying of architecture of five to so on however many you can take but you learn very difficult subjects such as physics sometimes electrics to higher math which is why it does usually have a higher pay and according to bureau of labor statistics the median annual pay for architects uh, from May 2020 is 82320 While some do get paid less, there are other ways of making an income while being an architect, which could be selling your blueprints online for future homeowners that would like to take your house as inspiration or do fully build off of it, or being hired by individuals to make their dreams of a perfect home come into life. And something that my mom did while we were living in Russia is she designed the three houses that my family does currently live in there. Unfortunately, I do not have pictures of them since I have the last time I was there was eight years ago, but they're truly beautiful and it was a very incredible feeling to first see them as blueprints and renderings and then see them right in front of me. And for many more generations on, they will be able to know that my mother was the one who designed them. And as you can see, architecture is something that is really close to home for me. And I think it is a very unique mix of both being able to be mentally stimulated by it of the challenges that come with it as well as having a creative outlet and leaving your own little mark on the world in many different ways it does have its own benefits and challenges and i hope you guys do look at buildings a little closer now thank you so much